Yo, I'm Ilji, also known as Iljime, and welcome to my Z vs Yasuo guide. For those of you who don't know me, I've been challenger on EOS playing Z only for the last 6 years. And this video is aimed to encapsulate everything about Z vs Yasuo matchup, all the micro mechanics, all the macro mechanics, all the decisions, all the builds, runes, items, everything we're going to go over. Um, and everything that isn't encapsulated in this game right here, I'm going to go over in practice tool a bit later in the video as well. Just so you guys get a full view of how to play Z vs Yasuo or to equip you with the tools to beat Yasuo as Z. So this Yasuo is only Diamond 1 or Diamond 2 I think. But he is a Yasuo one trick and I thought this would probably be good enough to make a guide out of because most of you guys are probably going to play against uh, a lower ranked Yasuo I suppose. So for the summoner spells against Yasuo I think Ignite Flash is the best with my setup personally but you can also go first strike with teleport flash uh, with precision secondary taking haste and cut down but I recommend going conqueror in the current patch and split three because all the damages have been nerfed which means that you need subsequent combos to kill people, um, which means DPS is going to be a bit more valuable. Also, Ignite is, you know, indirectly buffed from having less damage in the game. The Ignite damage becomes, you know, a bit more important, so to speak. So that's the runes and the summoners. You can also take a different build. So I go Axiom, Hubris, and then either Profane or Grudge. But you can go Voltaic um, into, you know, Opportunity or Voltaic into Axiom. If you really like Voltaic, uh, it's not too big of a deal. You can also go uh, Eclipse into Voltaic. So there's more, a lot more flexibility with the build, I would say. But for the runes, I recommend just going Conqueror and not Electrocute or First Strike against Yasuo. So yeah, let's see how this laning phase goes then. Also, I forgot to mention, this is patch 14.20, so Yasuo is buffed. Although his buffs are not too important in the early game and they come more online once he builds some items. Um, so yeah, level 1 against Yasuo, make sure you don't push. You don't want to hit the wave because you know that he wins uh, early on. He wins the trades with lethal tempo especially. Um, so just play nice and slow, nice and carefully. Also something I forgot to mention about the runes is you could go Scorch and if Yasuo goes bone plating then it's pretty good. But if the Yasuo doesn't go bone plating, uh, I think it's pretty bad. So... Um, it's kind of just a flip, and this one didn't go bone plating, so yeah. Uh, level 1, you know, as you can see, I'm just playing nice and far back. We don't want to fight. He gets level 2 first, which is fine. And I'm going to hit this minion for level 2. And now I want to show you guys a little trade you can do against Yasuo. So when he E's through the minion, I know he's going to E through, so I press my E, and then I move to the side straight away. Like that, because you can use your E and move to the side at the same time, it's very, very important to do that little movement. So you E when he's coming in, and you're moving towards the left, and you don't auto attack until he throws his Q because that's a very, very good way of dodging the Yasuo Q as well as getting Yasuo's passive uh, if he E's in through the minions. And I'll show you that, that I guess, um, that sequence as well, like over the course of the game. So we Q, this is fine. This is a very, very classic matchup where, you know, we just have to play safe. It's not just Zed versus Yasuo, but it's a lot of matchups where you don't really have any agency before you recall. So. Yep, we're just farming, farming, farming. And now the wave is on my side of the lane. So we want to make sure we don't push. We only slow push. And he has to walk up a bunch if he wants to push or if he wants to farm. And that's pretty good for me. As you can see, using your E to get Yasuo's passive is very, very good. So usually you want to use your Q if you can. But if they're spacing too annoyingly, then you can use your E. And then right here, I'm going to dodge his Q by walking upwards and using my E only. Um, so I did get a bad trade, but two things there actually. Before I went in, I used my W to jump over his tornado. And I did the, you know, just walking upwards or walking around him to make sure that his Q doesn't hit. But I hit my E at the same time. So yeah, it's like a very good way of getting Yasuo's passive is just using your E when he E's through to you. And then you walk to the sides to try and dodge his Q. So, I mean, even though I'm really low now, and it looks like I lost, like, the lane and everything, which I guess I did. Um, like, I'm not as low as I could be, basically, because if you keep using those little things, then you should be fine. And Luda's helping me out here, which is really nice. And, you know, keeping the wave on my side of the lane cost me some HP, but it was for sure worth it, because I'm not really killable yet. Unless Yasuo wants to commit through all the minions on our side of the lane. And then Lulu just helps me out which is fine. 
Blitzcrank comes out of nowhere. But yeah, um, so the main mechanic I showed you here, guys, or what I was trying to show is the E while moving and then only auto attack after you get his passive and he uses his Q because he's most likely going to miss his Q if you keep walking like to the left and to the right or like upwards and around him basically kind of like a ring around a rosy as I go in I think I win this and then I get triumph and I live wonderful but yeah that's like level one to five against Yasuo but the thing about using your E to get his passive means that you know his shield is gonna get procced and then you can auto attack him as well quite quickly after because his shield doesn't last very long after you proc it so that's a good thing to use against Yasuo I want to show you guys how to use your W backwards against Yasuo when he's eing through the minions. So right now I'm just waiting for my Q and I walk up, I place the W a little bit behind me and I throw the Qs and you know he ease through and gets hit by them. Um, my Viego gives him an out here which is kind of bad but in general the combo of using your W backwards against Yasuo is based on his E and when you see his E through the minion um, you can think about where he's going to land so as soon as you see his E and you throw the spells um, towards where he's going to land, you know, everything is kind of buffered so that your spells will more likely hit. And I'm going to show you a bit more about that in practice tool as well, just to give you guys a bit more of a visual representation and also just, you know, let you see a bit more of the variations of using your W backwards against Yasuo. So just to show you guys how Yasuo's passive really works. So I use my W E. And when I Q, his passive is already down. So if you just wait literally half a second, then use your spells. You're going to hit it right after his passive goes down. And none of your damage will really go into his shield. So that's something to really keep in mind in general for the whole Yasuo matchup. Very much keep in mind that his passive is quite bad in the sense that you can just proc it. And then wait like half a second and then use all your damage. It's very, very easy to do that. So yeah, it's something to very much keep in mind and it will help you throughout pretty much all the trades that I'm going to talk about in this video and in general all the trades that you'll take against the Yasuo. I'm just going to show off this play just for fun but uh, when Yasuo has Tornado you know you can choose to ult him when he ease onto you or you can choose to wait as I just do this flash let's just watch the flashy play we go back in hit the brawl brand as well but anyways when Yasuo has his tornado and he ease through the minions and then he ease onto you, so you can choose to ult him straight away or you can choose to just ult him afterwards. I recommend ulting him afterwards if your HP is above 50% or if you think you won't get one shot. So I was very high HP, so it's good to wait because usually a good Yasuo will hold their Q and they won't just EQ. And if you have enough HP to tank everything, waiting will be much much better because if they don't use their Q then, you can just, you know, ult their normal tornado because that's how they're going to use it. So now I have Axiom, Boots and Duck. And with your setup or this setup that I'm running, you're going to have a lot of haste. So you don't need to be too afraid of using your W more often. And right here, I want to show you guys, you know, a little trick you can do against Yasuo. So I'm going to space his Q. And as soon as he uses Q, I use my WQW or to E. And you can do that if you're really fast, you'll hit both Qs. If you get lucky because he's stuck in place just for half a second. Um when he uses his Q but that's kind of a harder one to do as opposed to just throwing it on the spells when he's in mid E and throwing it where he's going to E so yeah and if you run my setup like this and you have good haste don't be afraid to just walk up and use your WQ to get his passive because that's going to make it much squishier and much easier for you to kill him with your conqueror and on this next wave he's going to use his E through the minions I want to show you guys how you react to that so I have W he's going to E through as soon as he E through the last one, I use my W straight away with my Qs. So you do WQW auto E straight away as he E's through. Where he's going to land, you do it. And, you know, it's very unlikely for him to use his W. As you can see, he used it late. So, you know, that fast combo is very effective against Yasuo when his passive is down and when he's Eing through the minions. Because you can always throw your spells where he's going to land. And it's like very, very simple because, you know, you just watch him and as he's you know the beginning of his E animation as soon as it goes through you know you exactly where to throw the Qs. So we're about to just gank and kill this Yasuo very simply but make sure you open with your W around these levels when you're level 12 and you have two items you use open with your W you do auto E and then you use your alt shadow or your alt to dodge his Q tornado and that way you'll win the fights and you should still do that in the 1v1s where you open with W um, and make sure you fight a Yasuo when he is away from his minions because that means he will not be able to E through them and you know 
If he E's too many times, it can be really annoying to keep up. So fight Yasuo away from the minions, preferably in 1v1s. But using your W first with this Conqueror page with a lot of haste is quite effective because you're going to get multiple iterations of spells and you'll be able to dodge his tornadoes with your ult and your W. I'm going to show you guys what happens when you're ahead against Yasuo in the mid to late game. So it's very easy to fight. Um, I pretty much just run him down with Q's, Autos and just W and E's. Um, I don't even use ult. So it's very, very simple. You know, just showing you that it becomes much easier when you're ahead. You just have to wait out for his W and then make sure you throw your Q's on, you know, him and not the W. And even if you do, you have multiple iterations of spells because you have Conqueror set up with haste. So it's very, very good. And yeah, I was just showing that, you know, in the mid to late game, you will stomp Yasuo basically most of the time. Even if you're not ahead and if you're even, you have a lot more agency. I want to show you guys what it looks like to abuse the Yasuo E against him in the mid to late game when you're ahead especially. So as soon as he E's through that minion, I just go and use all of my spells straight onto him with my W. Using the WQW Auto E, very fast combo. And then I ulted his tornado. So the only thing that you need to be wary of in the late game is that his Q is on a low cooldown. So you're going to want to ult his tornado. Um, as well as you can and if he uses flash he can kill you so if the Yasuo is very good and he just EQ flashes from a minion or something you might die so be very careful but I usually I basically use my combo as soon as he used E right here to throw all the spells where he's going to land so I'll show you one more time as soon as I see the animation I'm straight on him using everything I'm profane and I ult just to survive so yeah don't be too afraid to use the fast WQW auto E combo in the mid to late game especially when you're ahead and when you can see I guess the angle for it. Something I haven't really talked about this video is this little thing here so when you go on the Yasuo you WQW ult him you want to make sure you click backwards and you run all the way you're already running backwards as soon as you come out so right here I auto but I'm already running back so it's very obvious the Yasuo is going to E onto you if he has nothing else to E on when you ult him which means he's going to E through you and go backwards towards his base, as he did right here. So you're going to want to be running towards his base in this instance. So we keep up with him and we're able to auto E again. So it's just a small thing like that, a little micro thing where you want to walk backwards after you ult him because he's going to use his E through you. And the further you are away from him, the closer you're going to be when he E's you, basically, if that makes sense. Here's a fun little combo just to show off. Um, this little quadra kill. But it's like eye candy, so here you go guys. Look at that, all the AoE, we ult onto him. He tries to jump over, we just jump over as well. Bam, bam, he's dead straight away. But yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> that's basically it from this game. But I'm going to go into practice tool just to go over some few more things. So you guys can see things a bit clearer as well. Alright guys, I'm in practice tool right now. And I'm going to try and show like a bit of what I was talking about. Um, it's a bit scuffed, but let's say Yasuo is here. He eats through the minion, comes here, and then he eats through this minion or something, and he goes here. So, you know, I'm just chilling here or something. You know, he eats through that minion, and he goes here. And then when he eats once, I kind of know he's probably going to eat twice. Let's say that minion was still alive, and he eats through and he gets here. But as soon as... So, if I can get a... I don't know if this pen works. Does this work? This. Oh, can you guys see that? I think so. So, in this distance right here... As soon as I see that, basically, I use my W backwards and I throw the Qs right here like this. Or I use my W over here. So if I just auto refresh cooldowns, he E's through a minion, he goes there. And when he E's once, you kind of know he's probably going to E twice onto the next minion if it was there. And he E's through. And as soon as you see this little animation right there, you can place a W right here. Throw the Qs already when he's mid air. And then auto E as he comes by. Take the W and run away. And this combo works very, very well against a Yasuo who has no passive or no bone plating. So just keep that in mind. Even if he has passive though, it works pretty well. If he has bone plating and passive, it's probably not that good. But it's just a very, very good combo if you poke him with your Q, for example. And then he eats through the minion and he eats through the minion. I guess if I, maybe if I uh, thingy, I can show it even better. So clear little dummies. And let the wave come back again. Um... I'm a bit scuffed with this pen thing, but yeah, get rid of that. And if we spawn an enemy dummy again, you know, let's say he's right here. And I'm just chilling right here. He goes, he eats through that many, and, he, and then he has that one. And he eats through that, and he goes there. Or like, probably there. Um, you know, he's probably going to be here or something. But as soon as he eats, 
on his, you know, first minion. I'm very aware of it. I'm ready to use a combo. And when I see the animation, as soon as you see the animation, we already throw the W and we throw the Qs. Also, don't throw your W too far away from you because you want both Qs to land. And this combo is just very, very good bread and butter combo where you auto E, you take your W, you run away. And, you know, if you repeat that combo over and over again, you're pretty much going to get him in kill range where the next time he does that, you might be able to just do this. And then instead of taking your W, you can go aggressive with ult or you can just not use your W, you can just your Q and then auto and then ult him and follow him. You know, there's lots you can do. So that's a very main, well, I guess that's like the main bread and butter combo that you can use uh, to trade against Yasuo that is very effective in my opinion. But don't overuse it too much because eventually they're going to start using EW as they E through the last minion. They could use EW and then you lose your um, Qs. But even then it's pretty good because even if you lose your Qs on it, you get his W and you trade Ws. So it's not the worst. But, you know, usually the Yasuo's are really bad. So you can just throw the Qs while they are mid E and you throw it towards where he's going to land. And it's very, very uh, simple. I hope this was kind of useful even though... This looks scuffed as hell, but yeah. <laughs> Something to keep in mind when using that combo where you do use your W backwards. So let's say there's an imaginary minion here. He E's through and you use your W backwards. When you're past level 6, if he has Tornado, you need to be very, very careful because he can hit you with a Tornado on the way out. So basically after level 6, be careful because he can run you down. But that combo works very good from level 5 onwards, essentially. And make sure you just keep in mind his Tornado as you're running away. Okay, so I want to show you guys another thing. So instead of doing that combo, there's another thing you can do. So if he E's through this minion, for example, and he fights me over here or something, as soon as he E's through that minion and I'm like running away, he could E through that minion, let's say, and he's like here, you know, and he gets even closer. So as soon as he's Eing through that minion, instead of using my W backwards, I can walk back forwards and use my E and then walk up like this. So it depends on the angle of where he is, where he like landed. But basically... As soon as he E's through, let's see, he E's from there. I don't know, there's a minion there. He E's through and then he E's through again to get closer. On the second E, you want to turn around as you're, as you're running away. You turn around and you E and then you walk upwards or around. You know, just keep walking and don't auto attack him. If he has passive, especially, this is very good. Because you have two goals is to get his passive and also dodge his first Q as he E's through the minion and tries to Q you. So it works very well with your E because you can move while using E, which is very, very valuable, you know. It makes it much harder for the Yasuo to hit his Q because what they want to do when they E through a minion is auto Q. But if they auto and you're already moving, they're going to Q. Usually they'll miss their Q, right? They're going to Q wrongly. Um, so that's just something to use against Yasuo when you want to take, you know, a bit more of an extended trade. You don't want to back out and you feel like you're stronger. You just E, you walk upwards like that around him. So if he, is, if he comes in from the right, you should walk upwards to the left because it makes it harder for him to hit his Q uh, in terms of the angle. But if he's like in front of you, so if he comes from here, for example, somehow, let's say he's on this side, you know, I E and then I walk upwards. So let's say I was running this way or well, I was running away from here and I see him coming in through there. I e and I walk up like that. So I guess I'm just going to use the pen for fun. <laughs> so we go either go upwards or we go upwards this way. And either way, what we want to do is make sure we E and we keep walking and we don't auto attack until we see his Q. Because he's going to try and Q when you try to auto attack. So you just E and you keep moving around him like this. Literally like a ring around a rosy. And it works quite well. Because if you think about how he hits his Q. Um, I rub this out. If you think about the way that Yasuo uses his Q. He autos and then he Qs, right? But if you auto and then I'm already moving around. You know, he has to move his mouse properly. Because the Q is very easy to miss as Yasuo. When you're very close to him. And you're just sidestepping it and you're running around him like this. So it's something to very much keep in mind from pretty much the entire game, I would say. You know, you can E and walk or upwards. Um, you know, especially works early game because early game you're kind of playing more passive and you're not playing aggressively and you kind of have to run away from him. So he doesn't expect you to E and then walk up a bit and dodge your Q or dodge his Q. I showed a bit of that in the game, but yeah, I just showed right now here in the practice tool instead of w'ing away you can e dodge his q and then he auto and then he might try to e away and you can use your w aggressively where he's going to land as soon as he uses e but that's a bit more uh that's a bit harder to hit your q's as opposed to using your w backwards because he's going to expect you to use your w forwards and when he's eing away he's probably going to e through another minion and just e in through another minion and it's too um you know his e is too fast basically so if your reaction time is not high enough it's going to be hard to hit the q's but that's a good way to like get the all in. So you E, you get his passive, you walk around, he misses his Q, and then you auto him again. 
and you maybe use your Q if you want, but you have four stacks of passive or four stacks of conqueror uh, minimum, and then you can choose to ult him and then just chase him down, you know? So that's something to use after maybe like level eight, you know, level nine, you can use it aggressively or you can use it passively or you just E, you walk, you know, his passive runs out, then you auto him. If he has bone plating, you'd get that. Um, and if he doesn't have bone plating, you just auto him and then you'd use your W backwards as well after. So basically, if you're playing it defensively, you E, you walk upwards or you walk up to the other side, whichever side is faster for you to walk around him on. And then you auto him after the passive is done. So you wait half a second, auto him, auto attack him. And then you use your W backwards and then you can throw your Qs like that and then auto and then uh, take your W. I guess your E wouldn't be up, but yeah, so you, it would look something like that. Keep walking, you dodge the Q, you auto, and then you just do that to disengage. Or if you want to play aggressively, of course, you can use your W forwards or you can ult him. And you just have much more options when you win the initial trade where you E and you just dodge his first Q and then you auto him. And yeah, that's basically this little trade. So I'm going to show you guys some mid to late game tactics against Yasuo. Um, so for example, let's say I push the previous wave and now I just hide in the bush. You know, this is a classic. Or if I'm just hiding in the bush in general, you know, Yasuo comes and he's clearing the wave. And he, you know, he ease through. This is Yasuo. He kills the minions. What you want to do is usually you just want to wait until you feel an act. You feel like you have an angle where you're going to hit your Qs, and you know you can get him. Um, you can land your Qs before he ease away or something. Um, so it's good to wait, wait for him to take the entire wave, or you can just go in. Like if it's mid to late game and you feel really fed, you know, wait for him to e, and then do the same tactic that I told before, where you know. As soon as he ease, you destroy your spells. Especially if you're coming from a bush, he won't expect it. But, you know, usually you won't be in this bush, I guess. You'd be up here or something. So you push and you're just hiding, waiting for Yasuo. When he comes by, you just walk through, walk through. And, you know, be careful of his tornado. And also be wary of how many minions you have. The less minions you have, the better it is for you. But, you know, the more XP he's going to get with and kind of get away with as Yasuo. So you can also just walk up. You know, and just try and fight him, even though those minions, if you have these kind of items and you're very fed, use a W to open, WQW, or to E profane. Usually you'd use that when he uses his E, and it's just more likely to land. And then you're going to want to try and get another E quickly before he tornadoes you, just to get your W back as fast as possible. Um, so if I toggle the spawn, or rather the auto refresh cooldowns, you know, we go in like this, WQ2, auto E profane, and then we auto E again, and our W is coming up in another, you know, two or three seconds. So then we can use alt or just wait for a W again. So basically, you know, when you're, when he's face checking, you should use your W. So for example, even up here, you know, if you push and then he pushes or clears the wave under his tower or something, and he walks over here, you know, you wait for him, wait for him. And if I spawn a dummy right here, you know, when he's right here, you can do this. Right? Or you can wait for him to get closer. It depends, you know, you should press tab. If he has a yellow ward, I recommend just using it as soon as he's in ward range. And, you know, even if he was a little further back, so even if he was like right here, you know, you can do it from here. Like that. It's pretty good. And then, you know, E him again, auto him again, and then ult him, and then you'll have your W up again. And that's basically what you want to do against Yasuo when he's face checking or when you're catching him off guard. You know, open with W, get two E's on him, and then ult him if you need to. Dodge his Q tornado and yeah and also don't be afraid to use your tricks of going side to side when you're melee range against Yasuo and if he's trying to Q you and you're not in the minions so if you E and then you you know dodge like this you can still do that in the mid to late game especially if there are no minions around because if he misses his Q he's not going to get his tornado right and then that way you're basically just going to win because your spell is going to come back up and everything's going to be great but yeah that's how you kind of fight Yasuo in the mid to late game when he's face checking and stuff um, I think that's probably the best way to do it. Another thing I didn't really talk about much is, you know, playing around Yasuo's W is pretty important after level 6 especially. And that's kind of why we're incentivized to use our W first with this Conqueror setup before we use our ult. It's because they don't expect you to use your WQW Auto E really fast. So, whereas, you know, you ult him and then you Auto E. Now the Yasuo is on guard, he's ready to use his W. So if you use your Qs or if you use your WQ, it's much more likely for him to use his Wind Wall. So I recommend opening with W when you can, or just doing that combo I showed you in mid lane earlier, where you E, you walk to the side, he misses Q, and then you just do that, and then you do WQW like that if you want to all in, and then you ult him after. So there's a lot more incentive to ult him after um, your initial WQW auto E combo, which will give you conk stacks and will also just, you know, catch him off guard. It's much more likely, whereas when you ult, he's going to be much more on guard. 
So yeah, and usually when you do it correctly, you ult him, um, you ult him, and then you can just run him down with auto E and ignite. You don't even need to hit the Qs because your initial Qs land, and that's basically the whole gist around playing, well, the whole uh, philosophy I guess I have around playing against Yasuo. So I like to use my W first because I don't really, you know, see it or they don't really expect it. Um, for me to use my spells like that really fast, as fast as possible, before I combo, before I go all in with my ult. Um, so it's just very, very, it just makes the matchup much more simple in my opinion. And I recommend you guys, you know, also do it similarly where you use your W like this. Because um, it's quite important to be a bit unpredictable when he can wind wall your Qs. And then even if he wind wards after, so after you ult him, he's going to be low. And you can just run him down and then wait for his tornado or wait for his wind wall because he's going to have to use it and he's going to be low enough for you to force it. And yeah, that's the whole, well, that's like the main gist around 1v1ing Yasuo. With all that being said, don't be afraid to use your W backwards, as I said earlier. And in general, if Yasuo has a tornado and say we're both like level 6 or something, and I only have like a pickaxe and a longsword and refillable, I don't have enough items really to do too much damage. You know, don't be afraid to literally just, you know, use your W backwards, press your Q like that. So, you know, W backwards and then Q towards him as he's, you know, eating through. And your Q will always, almost always hit because you're cancelling the animation when you do QW. You, you place W backward, backwards and then you do QW. So you take the W and your Q comes out at the same time and you're more likely to get his passive and you can just play really safe like that if he has his tornado around those levels. So say I'm level 6 and I have pickaxe and longsword and refillable. You know, just do that and then chill when he has tornado. You know, wait his tornado out and play it nice and safe in the early to mid game is what I recommend. And then after, you know, after one, two items, you can start doing those fast little combos that I was talking about. And yeah, I think this matchup is actually quite simple and easy, to be honest. Well, that's basically all I have to say about the Zed versus Yasuo matchup, I think. Um, you know, I went over a bunch of tips, but also if you really struggle against Yasuo, you can go Eclipse Rush and it helps a bit in the lane for sure. But I recommend really just going full lethality if you're confident because you can get a lot more from that. You know, we play with Conqueror, we use our WQW Auto E really fast and we play for the second and third combo in the DPS kind of. But also we kind of negate Yasuo's W by you doing that. And also um, I included some tips about, you know, playing around his passive as well. And I think this was kind of a decent little video with some small tips to equip you guys to beat Yasuo basically. Um, but yeah, I uh, really hope I didn't miss anything and I hope you guys found it useful in some way. Also comment down below and let me know, you know, if you have any other champions you want me to cover or any other champions as Zed that you struggle against and you really want, you know, these kind of videos for because I don't know how useful they really are, but I do kind of enjoy making them, I guess, and just thinking about little, little mechanics that you can use as Zed against other champions and yeah, just all of that good stuff. Um, feel free to comment, you know, down below. Don't be shy. I don't bite, <laughs> I think. But um, yeah, uh, I hope this video was useful and all of that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.